slapstick comedies of the past, such as those of the Three Stooges, and the Marx Brothers have used this sequence to generate laughs. A male patient sits atop an examination table, and the doctor hits his knee with a rubber hammer. There is no reaction from the patient, and the doctor looks confused. He hits the knee once again, but still, nothing happens. The doctor turns his back on his patient, a puzzled look on his face. That is when the patient's leg jerks forward in an obvious delayed reaction, and his foot kicks, the doctor's behind, sending the poor man tumbling to the floor. It does not fail to get the audience laughing heartily. But, come to think of it, why does the knee jerk when hit with a rubber hammer? And why do doctors do this in the first place? We have got the answers. But first, please don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't done so yet or are new to this channel, please click on subscribe. It will further inspire us to create more fun and informative videos just for you. When you get a physical examination in a hospital or medical clinic, one of the things that doctors usually do is to softly hit your knee with a rubber hammer while you are sitting on the edge of the examination table. He does this because he wants to test your reflex. A reflex is something your body does automatically or involuntarily as a reaction to something. Meaning, you really don't think about it. Your body does it for you. You may not be aware of it, but there are several types of reflexes that your body has, and if you manifest all of them, it usually means you are healthy. These include the knee-jerk reflex, also known as the paddler reflex or the deep tendon reflex. This is what happens when the doctor taps on a specific spot on your knee, specifically, the paddler tendon. Tapping this tendon stretches it, and the muscle in the thigh connected to it. A signal is then immediately sent to the spinal cord, informing it that the specific muscle has been stretched. Just as quickly, the spinal cord tells the muscle to contract. This results in your lower leg kicking out. So that's why the knee jerks when hit with a hammer. You may ask, why do we have such a reflex? Experts say, it's our body's way to keep our balance, especially when standing up. Because of gravity, our knees may slightly bend, which could make us fall down. The deep tendon reflex, or DTR, keeps our knees straight, so that we can keep standing upright. Now, how about that classic comedy sequence of a delayed knee jerk reaction? Can it really happen? Unfortunately for some people, it can. And that is because there may be something wrong in the nervous system that will account for the delay in the communication between the paddler tendon and muscle and the spinal cord. On the other hand, there could also be an overreaction wherein a single tap on the knee will elicit several knee jerks. Again, the issue could be in the nervous system and could be because of what medical experts call upper motor neuron lesions. Reflexes can also be protective as their function is to keep our body from harm. One of them is when you instinctively move your hand away from a hot stove, when it gets uncomfortably near. Your brain hasn't even gotten the time to tell you about it, but your body has already reacted, blinking your eyes or putting up your arms to cover your face and body. When something is thrown at you is another example of protective reflex. So to our sneezing and coughing, which clear our airways of things that might be irritating them. We hope you have enjoyed this latest episode of AHA. So that's why. If you did, do like it. Also, please subscribe, so that you can get your daily dose of fun and informative videos. Thanks for watching.